Marvel movies and DC movies and shows. Here I come. Broke bomb snake. Oh my god! I am the nigga that wins at the end of the day. I'm me. Schizo Joker! Get a fing job and give me money. I've literally peed in the jug during my run. I can't even tell who's I'm genuine anymore. anymore. They are here! Pull up all and catch time. the thing. Uh, <laughs> on my shit. Um, it wasn't. It never got real, real serious. Um, we never, we never spoke about like getting married for sure. Okay. Um, but it was just like dating and like hanging out with each other, getting to know each other, talking and stuff like that. Our relationship pretty much lasted for like six months, maybe seven months. I don't think it was eight months. I think at one point I said six to eight months. Makes a lot of sense in it. My, my bad for Proof, fucking more dying, so bro. proves your, your validity. Valid did it. My, valid oh did it. My God, my valid did it. You know what I mean. I'm sorry, on. I can't pronounce the word that's, right now. It's okay. That's okay. The validation no of your identity. <laughs> I'll just say yeah. that. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we know how you guys met. Now, can you tell me a little bit about like how long exactly were you guys talking and um. How long before you guys got serious? If if you did get serious, um, it wasn't. It never got real, real serious. Um, we never we never spoke about like getting married for sure. Okay. Um, but it was just like dating and like hanging out with each other, um, getting to know each other, talking and stuff like that. Uh. Our relationship pretty much lasted for like six months, maybe seven months. I don't think it was eight months. I think at one point I said six to eight months, but I don't think it was eight months because things, when I found out I was pregnant, it was the beginning of September. Mm. And I believe in March, we really started talking. March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So yeah, about like six months. Somewhere in there. So, um, yeah, we, we were never like serious, serious. It was just, you know, getting to know each other. It was very, you know, short. How did he um, treat you personally, like throughout the relationship? Were there any <clears throat> moments in a relationship where like you kind of like had any hints of like who he might actually be? Like, you know, as far as him being the asshole and all that? Well, if I, you know, I've, you know, a couple being in relationships throughout your life, like you kind of realize what's normal, what's not normal in a relationship. Um, I don't know. I didn't feel like too much was off. And even if like, if he got upset more quickly with things, um, I probably just like, you know, joked about it because I'm a, not really that serious of a person. Well, at least back in the day, I wasn't. So, you know, I've always been like um, a jokester and like, just fun i try to make things fun but um yeah i don't know if i if there was ever like a one point in time where i was just like oh this guy is different okay um yeah you mentioned you mentioned that uh it would be times where he would get uh angrier than usual correct well when i told him i was pregnant uh not nah, I, I don't think tales of they always rocks but it's funny though. He, he like he's like Deo's newest enemy, bro. Deo absolutely hates Deo, Deo's of Deo. Like he's super racist towards him. Like he hates the f out of him. Man. Things mm -hmm. changed. How so? So um. Nah, in a way, well, it's, it's um, rocks, bro. In a way, it's him. Hmm. So I answer this. Nah, he doesn't look like him. I think. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> It was just different, you know, things were a little bit more kind of light throughout when we were getting to know each other. But once I was pregnant and I told him, um, it got serious. From the other interview, I heard that um, you didn't put him on child support right away, correct? Yeah, the first time was... Bro, they, they always fucked, bro. They always fucked. <laughs> this year. Bro, this year has been miserable for him. Man. This year has been horrible, like terrible. It's hilarious, man. I cannot even feel bad. I can't answer, man. If anything, it's not even half of what he deserves. <laughs> I don't know the exact date. 
2023 last year is the first time I put them on child support. Okay, so were there any conversations prior to that that may have like strayed you away from putting them on child support or was it more so that you didn't want to deal with all like the hassle and drama that came with it? Because of where I felt with him and like where our communication was, I didn't feel like it was healthy. Um, He didn't want to sign the birth certificate. I've already said this somewhere to someone so it's out there but he didn't want to sign the birth certificate so at that point i just felt like i'm not going to chase after something it's just more stress like it was this the whole situation was a little bit stressful um relatively i didn't want to chase after someone because i knew that i could give her yeah i feel bad like a, a community with my family and support and love um especially with how I knew he was, I didn't want to um, push that anymore. So I always left the door open. I've never not said no for him to meet her. There's never been a time where I said, no, you can't. I've okay. always left that door open and I've always made it clear. The only thing I want from you is your time. And that's to give to your daughter. So um, if I'm rambling, I'm going to ramble. I know I am. No, Guide that's me. fine. This, this is a really, really good interview. Um, so you said that um, you wanted to give her a community because you knew how he was. Can you go into more detail about that? Like, was there anything that he might have said or done that kind of like solidified it for you? Like, oh, okay, well, my daughter would be uh, maybe would be better off without him. Uh, there may have been one moment. Um, there may have been a few, yeah, but it's, uh, it's one for me. sure. But I don't want to get into it because uh, sensitive sensitivity have you ever gotten a dna test like has has he agreed to a dna test no we've never done a dna test um if the court required it sure let's do it but the the court never never said hey you know he's uh i think if he like when you're served child uh child support papers i think you can actually uh, i'm not for sure so please forgive me if i'm wrong but i think you can actually like contest it and be like oh um i'm not the child's father and then they'll make they'll require us to do a DNA test, um, mm-hmm. but that was never done. You and, know? He, and he never asked for one personally. Um, if he did, he never followed through with it. Okay. I mean, I would be willing. I, you know, I know, I know what I know. I know for sure. So, I don't need a DNA test. But if he wanted one, sure, that's fine. I don't care. But, but he's, no, he's never. It yeah, was okay. never one done. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um, another question. What? Wh- um, okay, so I know you've been like kind of like in the shadows yeah, for a long time. Yeah, look a bit. I want to know what it is exactly about this whole like what's been going on recently, or what certain event that has happened recently that made you want to come out and and speak. Um. Well, I wasn't really in the shadows for most of it. Um, just when the information got leaked um, and our picture got put out and I was like, Shit. so then I was like, okay, I, at first I was just like, oh, I'm just going to leave it. Excuse my language. Um, at first I was just gonna be like, oh, I'm going to leave it alone, you know? Uh, but then curiosity got, you know, it seeped into my brain. So I was like, oh, let me just look. So then I just see like a lot of people posting about it and i don't know i guess i just felt like i needed to just i wanted to observe but i also sometimes felt like maybe i can comment here and there um no nah, no nah, yeah alina like at, at least at, at least it wasn't her bro like with alina i think it would be like 10 times worse because she was like she was literally groomed by him man. like I, I would never understand how dale like bro imagine like you are 29 you have like finished college and, and then you have to pick uh, you have to pick your girl at, at school bro like come on e- even the age difference between 19 and 17 is huge how the f- are you gonna be dating a 17 and 29 like come on bro 12 years <laughs> but it, it, it was just i mean if it never got out i would have never been here um because, you know, who wants to be associated with someone? Was it a specific video or thing he said that um, really caught your attention that you can point out? Well, I will say I very much loathe every single video. Okay, let me rewind. I loathe 
every stream that he's done where he speaks about children. <coughs> of, get these abominations off my shit. If the father of those three things gotta be devastated. Your first creations are literally three things that are gonna be given away and created to serve another legacy. And, oh, I'm not trying to get emotional. And when he speaks on women, like, Holy I've shit. seen a lot of different clips from videos, that, that so exactly I know that they're from different saying. streams. So I know there's been multiple times where he's brought it up. And That's exactly why we all been saying it angers me because I know what I know. And why would you go there? Why would you even touch that? Exactly. Like, I 100% uh, agree. With you you had every you could have you could have left it alone. You could have just moved on. I'll give you a second. It's OK. OK. Um. Yeah, so there's a lot of videos that um, I hope I'm staying on track. There's a lot of videos I don't. I just, I, it's hard to, it's hard to watch, for sure. Okay, so knowing that, even though he doesn't say our names, it's still, yeah. it's still hard to watch. I mean, but you is pretty evident what he's alluding to, because he, he right. you know, it's always about the same thing. So even if he wasn't trying to, it's still I know what I know, wrong. and he yeah. still says it. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing I want to ask is what what is your goal per se in terms of like what message do you want to get across not just to anybody that might not be a troll but also the trolls and even him if he m might so happen to see this you know um I think my main hope for all of this <laughs> in my crusade I I really I have I don't even know what my end goal was for any of this, but I do know that I just hope and I'm begging as, as a parent to not post her actual picture. Um, I know I've said her name in comments, but please don't use her name in any of the like titles. Yeah, no, yeah, holy shit, bro. Uh, I hope, bro, Dale is not, <laughs> let me tell you something, bro. Dale is not streaming on his birthday, bro. This year, Dale is not streaming on his birthday. He's not streaming on his birthday, bro. I have no idea. Just try not to. I just don't want her to be associated with. Uh, how do I explain this? I want to give content creators their space because there's nothing that I could say to actually, you know, make people do something. But I just really hope and beg that nobody uses her picture um, and nobody uses her name and the title. Um, so you guys and just want to be like totally like just <laughs> tales, bro, bro. Do we... you you definitely remember? But like that stream that he was literally calling you like a uh, a rog scum of the earth that I even made a video on it, bro. That that literally shows how much they will hate you, bro. They will hate the out of you, bro. And that's great, man. That's great. You got to his head easily, and, and this video is gonna make him hate you even more. You're gonna see, bro. They, they, this year for Dale, this year for Dale has been a nightmare, bro. The shit that you were doing, it, it, like that, that shit, <laughs> that shit drives Dale to his lowest, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, no, I don't like, bro. Like, yeah, don't, don't ever put like the face of the the woman or, or the girl in thumbnails, bro. I mean, it's fine. I think it's fine referring to them, like not in. By their names and shit, but like no, no images. That shit would be weird. Disassociated from the guy. Like no, no, um, no, <laughs> trolling with videos and things of that nature. No, it's right? just. I think the thing that makes me scared the most is that when or if she ever sees this stuff, like I don't want, like if she sees him. And she sees her face or her name attached to it. She's going to be like, oh, my gosh. You know what I mean? So if there's yeah. less chance. Yeah, holy shit, bro. Nah. Yeah, don't do that with the kid, bro. Doesn't deserve anything, bro. It's all Dale. Like, put all your hatred on Dale, bro. Dale deserves to get fucked. Like, holy shit. Because, I, I mean, the, the daughter can avoid the troll videos. And if she doesn't, you know, she's just going to see that Dale is, like, the worst father ever. Like if she if her face is on it, bro, that should be creepy. But yeah, just guys, just like hate on Dale. 
they are always, man. His family are, are the victims. They are the asshole all the time. Of her seeing it without her face or her name associated to it, uh, who knows? I'm hoping with all of my heart that we can uh, avoid um, her seeing any of this stuff. And especially with, like, kids. Like, I know that there's this idea of, like, oh, there's kids. Like, what if they watch some of these troll videos and they see her face? Like, yeah, they I've, could I've go and that, tell her. I've, I've said plenty That of makes me scared that, of shit. Yeah, or, or, like, a classmate might know who he is and, you know. But if they know who he is, maybe the kid would wouldn't associate her to him. You know what I said. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Even if yeah. some of the pictures are resemblant, I know in some of the thumbnails, you know, some people put thumbnails of resemblant girls up in the thumbnails. Uh, excuse me, but it's not her. Um, but to actually have her face that's identifiable, so that's just keep. Her her away from your videos you can talk about him do yeah, whatever you want troll him, whatever you want because i i would never be able to you know dictate what you what anyone can post anyways i know that i'm a realist but and i say this as a realist that i'm hoping but i do know that there could be some people that don't but if you ever if anyone ever does see her face her actual face or like her full, full name blasted on a title or something please tag me so I could try my best to get that pulled. I don't know how to do that yet, but I will 100%. figure it out. 100% got you. Bro, I hope she can flag any market that like shows their faces, man. She should be able to flag them. Like, I hope it happens. They, they always, always, bro. They always, always, it, 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 I don't even know how this is real, honestly. It's crazy that they will see like no value in any people he talks to. He thinks that like literally every person is just like a statistic, man. It's disgusting. Um, I, I want to ask: Has she ever asked you about him personally? Oh yeah, a couple times. Not a, not a lot, mm. because she has so much support and community around her, and I don't know That's truly true. how she feels. Like I could never ever pull that from her. Like her true, true raw emotion. But I know that there's people out there that have had a parent that's absent in their life. So I know that they can relate some way. Um, but it, and whether or not I know the full extent of how she feels, it's just been a couple times we've, we've brought it up. Um, so I, I'm, I'm grateful for that because maybe it's showing how much love she has in her little community that maybe that void isn't as big and i hope i hope that's what it is yeah. but you know maybe when she gets older she'll you know we may talk about it more also on behalf of me and all the trolls we honestly honestly wish you and her the absolute best i cannot stress that enough i appreciate it i do i really appreciate it and you know she's fine she's really fine i promise um she's not you know and, and she, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but she's really, we're fine. Honestly, mm -hmm. we're doing good. So no worries there. Well, I'm glad that you blessed me with your time. This was an amazing interview and a, a good conversation. If you're willing to have another one sometime, we're, I'm open to it. It was a good convo. Uh, that per se, you can just talk about you more as a person. Um, if you oh, don't no, want to do in any more interviews, I totally understand because this has all been like just a uh, a mess. So <laughs> if you, yeah, wanna, I mean, if something done... really major happens, I don't mind like saying a few things here and there, but I I really don't have that much truly also, to say. How old, how old were you guys when you met? Like, do you know how old he was when you guys met? <laughs> has it already been confirmed his age? Like, yes. Okay. Well, I don't want to say. <laughs> um, that's also going to tell my age too. But I mean, you I don't, don't care. Tell, but... You don't have to tell your age. I wasn't a teenager. I can tell you that. Okay. I was not At a least, teenager. bro, that's the bare minimum we get. <laughs> I will say. The bare minimum. Uh no, I wasn't a teenager. I was in my twenties. Not 
on the <laughs> Bro, you know what is wild about this? Like, when she was in her 20s, there was already in his 30s, bro, probably, bro, not gonna lie. Or in his late 20s, at uh, uh, minimum. Lower side. Okay. That's all I'll say. Was he in his 20s as well? <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, a, you say you said everything without saying a word. <laughs> okay, well, if that's you know what. Uh, sometimes silence is a word, is an actual an answer. But anyways, um, yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna let you go. You're probably a busy woman. Thank you so much for this interview. It was a really great one. You're welcome. And you you have a wonderful day. Evening. Yes, I will. Evening. You have a great <laughs> night. <laughs> All right. See you. All right. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bro, that interview was hey, that interview good, was lit, baby. That interview Tales was lit. Hey, how y'all fucking with that? It, hey, that interview was lit, y'all. That interview was lit, y'all. Tales is killing it, bro. Hey, that was the most <laughs> groundbreaking. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Dale. Nah, bro. I win. What are you talking about? Ah. Uh -huh. Bro. And Prince So That's how you do an interview <laughs> That's how you do an interview Somebody needs to hack Dale's computer and play their hook. I mean she answered everything without really saying anything bro We know she was in her 20s And he was in his 30s when they met So <laughs> we know that <laughs> No she she He wasn't in his 20s She said he wasn't in his 20s He wasn't in his 20s about that Also let me show y'all these docs that's, that's not even But she sent them to me anymore, Holy Y'all see this? Hey, yo. This is the judgment papers right here. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Hey, yo, Tails, you gotta send me that shit. Sponsored by MO342. You gotta send me those papers. He owes $748 a month in child support. Holy. And this is the confirmed copy, original. January 19th, 2024. So this is recent oh, this is very recent she covered all the names obviously but this is the judgment right here so uh, not only do i have paperwork i actually interviewed the baby mama and, and yeah these are public docs and i am free to send me that person so thank you dale uh no no it's me Ah man, this is a crazy fucking day, man. Concordo, uh, Tylee Sombro. She got sad tales, exactly, bro. You see, even the Brazilians aren't here, bro. Latin America hates Dale. Every, the entire world, bro, hates Dale. That, that's what I mean. OG document salute. Yup. Bro, Cogner, man. Cogner fucking saved this year, man. Cogner is like the best super villain. Cogner. <laughs> I cannot even believe Cogner is real, honestly. That guy is just like a cartoony super villain, bro. <laughs> he, come, he comes out of nowhere with the documents like there is no tomorrow. That shit is funny. Oh yeah, I want to see the, the, the clip again of Dale literally insulting Tales of Dale, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, that disgusting, <laughs> dirty lock, bro. <laughs> Yo, this yeah, bro. bro. That was pitiful to look at. <laughs> that would never stop being funny, bro. That <laughs> bro, they were sitting on tales of Dale the entire stream, man. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah, bro. This year has been great. Emo. <laughs> Rog of society, bro. This motherfucker, man. Uncle Ruckus. At least I'm glad that the kid actually has a decent mother. The kid, as she said, she was like doing fine. And I bet that, like, if they was with with them all, that bro, it, it would be way different. That that child would be suffering, man. Thank God that kid only has a uh, one parent. <laughs> they they was going wild, man.
That nigga got daddy duties and child support. 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 That nigga got daddy duties and child support.